Rogan, by back. Welcome, fans, for another edition of Extreme Debates! SDG&E has proposed to build a $1.6 billion transmission line through the Anza Borrega State Park and into San Diego. To debate this issue, we have Mr. Harley Credible, executive with SDG&E, and UCAN's executive director, Mr. Michael Shames, addressing the opposition. To make this more interesting, we've wired the podium of the panelists with electricity. Each time they tell a each time they tell a lie or they exaggerate their answer, we're going to shock them proportionate with that exaggeration. <clears throat> Sorry about that, had to tie my shoes. Let's get started. The first question for the panelists is can we satisfy SDG&E's need for power by generating power locally rather than relying on imported power? Ha, that's an easy question. We can do both. We can get cheap power from outside San Diego. And we can't become too reliant on local natural gas fuel power plants. Thank you. A combination of improved energy efficiency measures, as well as a greater reliance on renewable power and more fuel efficient power plants is a far better way to spend money than on $1.6 billion transmission line. Second question for the debaters is whether the proposed power line is the only practical way to get renewable power into San Diego. We have contracted for over 900 megawatts, 900 of solar power to be brought in over this proposed power line. If this line isn't built, that solar power cannot be imported into San Diego. Go! And we want to bring in geothermal power into San Diego through this line as well as the wind. Hmm. Um, there are alternative routes to bring renewable power into San Diego and we can rely more on local generated renewable power. Good to hear. The final question for the panelists is, does the line have to go through a state park desert reserve? No, me first, me first. It is the only, the only feasible and cost-effective path for the transmission line. Oh. Excellent. Well, it appears the debate has been concluded by electrocution fans. Let's hope San Diegans don't also get shocked by the bill for SDG&E's very controversial power line proposal. Stop by next week for another edition of Extreme Debates. Thank you and good night.